Welcome to this video on variables, data types and very basic operators in Python. So what is a variable? Now we've looked at variables very briefly before, but the best way to think of a variable at this introductory stage is as, as a storage box for a value. So you could have a variable called x and it stores the value 2. You could have a variable called name and it stores the the, the value Jonathan. Pocket money, 3.2, score is equal to 0. Now if you look at all these variables, what they have in common is that they're storing values. But you also note that they're storing different types of values. And that, that's when we get into data types. So this is an integer. This is what Python refers to as a string or text. We also have pocket money, which is similar to an integer, but it's a real number. It has a decimal point, and in Python we would call this a float. This, again, is just probably just an integer. So we have important data types in Python. Don't worry about the other ones for now. You'll learn about them as you advance and progress in your, your programming in Python. But for, in this session, we're going to be looking at numbers, strings, and booleans. Booleans are data types which can either be true or false. They can have two values, one or zero, yes or no, true or false. Numbers can either be integers, such as one, two, three, or floats, which are fractional numbers or complex numbers. So let's start a little program by defining a name function and define some variables going to have a variable called x into which I'm going to assign the value or into to which I'm going to assign the value 5. y I'm going to assign the value 2. I could do something interesting. I could have a variable called z or I could call it answer and I could give the variable answer the value of x plus y. Now how can we know what is contained in the variable answer? Well, I could just print it and find out, and you'll see that it's 7. Now interestingly, if I change the input, or what is stored, the value of y, to something like hello, and now answer is equal to x plus y, it comes up with an error message because you cannot add a string and an integer. And we're going to be looking at that as we go along. For now, it's just useful for you to know that there's differences. So this is an integer, this is a string. As I mentioned, we also have another type of data type which is called a Boolean. A Boolean variable can be true or false. So an example of this would be, say, you were creating a system for a cinema and you had seats which were either booked or not. So I could have seats booked being the variable and I could say seat 1 booked and if seat 1 was booked it would be set to true else it could also be set to false. A floating point variable, as we looked at before, is simply a fractional number. So x has been assigned a float. So these are the, the basic variables. Another thing we're going to look at is operators. Now we have some basic operators such as plus, minus, oops, minus sign. I'll put that in a comment. You have multiplication and division. And we can use them in different ways. We have used the plus operator, but you could also quite simply use the subtraction. So y minus x, and if I printed z, we're performing a subtraction in exactly the same way you could perform a multiplication using the asterisk, which is usually shift and 8 if you're on a Windows machine, or the division 
there's other operators as well, but we're going to focus on these basic ones.